Monsieur Annan, Kofi, Excellence, euh, mes amis ici, dans un magnifique endroit où Son Altesse et moi avaient fondé cette institution euh, sous les tentes euh, pendant mon mandat comme gouverneur général en 2004. Et c'était avec le plus grand joie à ce moment-là, parce que c'était tout laid, il n'y avait rien. Et tout d'un coup, après trois jours, il y avait les fleurs, il y avait les tentes, et il y avait le commencement de cet endroit. Parce que là, c'était une espèce de rêve. Mais ce que j'ai appris au sujet de son Altesse, c'est que les rêves deviennent la réalité. Parce qu'il est pragmatique, il est tout particulier au sujet de tout ce qu'il croit, et ils mettent ça dans une manière extraordinaire où tout le monde comprend et tout le monde dit « bon, c'est une bonne chose ». Pour nous au Canada, je ne sais pas si nous nous rendons compte comment c'est magnifique que Son Altesse a fait cet accord avec notre gouvernement pour établir ce centre ici au Canada. Il aurait pu le faire à je ne sais pas, à Genève, à Londres, à Paris, dans n'importe quelle autre capitale du monde, mais il l'a fait ici, au Canada. Parce que, à la fois, c'est un compliment à nous, je trouve, de faire une centre pour la, le pluralisme ici, mais c'est aussi une espèce de manière de dire qu'il a, il croit que nous, au Canada, nous pourrons le soutenir. Et ça, nous devons être au niveau de cette croyance qu'il a. Because he believes in us, and he's believed in us in order to put this place here, and to put the Centre Mondial du Pluralisme on the map here, we must do our part. And certainly tonight with this lecture by Kofi Annan, we have a beginning of something that I think we all understand as terribly important. You know, among the Ashanti people of which you are part, there is a, a myth, and I love the myths of other people, because they're always, you can always make stories up around them because you don't grow up in them, the, of the golden stool, mm -hmm. which descends and descended on Ose Tutu, the first king. It descends and sits in the lap of the person, and it it represents the soul and the character of that person and gives them the authority, the right to be what they are. I think when we listen to Kofi Annan, we understand that authority which he has, that wisdom with pragmatism, that dedication with determination, that humility with purpose. And I very strongly identify with so much of the background of what you do because we are of the same generation. Although you grew up in Africa and I in Canada, we are of people that you have said once in an interview that I read. We were people who grew up and f thought that everything was possible. And I think that that's something which I identify with you and I think that you have brought to international life. Tonight, we've heard your magisterial analysis of two particular situations which we are all interested in, Kenya and Syria. And I think you have earned the name of Busumu, wise advisor in your language. I think that you also have given us that assurance that somebody who, has, who led us for so many years in the world's most important international organization understands that to only emphasize economic growth is a trap and we have to turn our attention always to development, the rule of law, human rights, peace and security. And I will carry away with me particularly that no country is born as a democracy and no one is born as a good citizen. All of this are things that we have to work at, the things that we have to share, that we have to initiate with each other in order to keep going. Because we must be citizens first. 
We are citizens. We are not just cost centers. We are citizens. We are not just taxpayers. We are citizens, and we are human beings. And as human beings, we are all human, and no one is more human than any other. The Aga Khan has quoted often in his writing that in the Quran, it says that God created us, and he could have created us because he was alone in doing it. He could have created us as all the same so that we would not have to deal with difference, with the difficulties that difference can bring. But he didn't because that is the challenge to us as those human beings is to make sure that we deal with those differences. And in dealing with those differences, we find our true humanity. Thank you so much for reminding us of that and for all that you do for us and all that you have done. Thank you.